think we just came out and we played very efficient. <clears throat> you know, I talked about last week. Um, last week I talked about the the inconsistencies and the urgency, the communication and the operation, and that starts with me. And um, obviously um, we operated at a high level um, early on in the game. Um, and I think that's something that we have to be able to sustain throughout the whole entire game, regardless of the situation. Um, and that, and that's, that, that starts with everybody. Um, but I think as a whole, as a team, coming out here, um, playing on Monday Night Football, we, I, I remember what happened the last time we played on Monday Night Football. Um, I haven't forgot about that. And to be able to come out here and perform at a high level as a team, um, that, that's big for us. To perform at a high level and st still leave so much money on the table. So you know, I, I'm sure y'all saw the little video in, in the locker room last week. It's exactly exactly the same message this week um, in terms of the standard not being met. You know, and I think, um, like I said, we have a standard for ourselves and it only rises. Um, a hell of a game tonight, but there's a hell of a lot to learn from. I mean, as a football team, um, as a collective group, we got to learn from it. Hey, we, you, uh, you a lot of your playmakers tonight uh, you spread the ball around pretty, pretty evenly. Is this kind of the way the offense is supposed to look? You know, what, what, whatever, whatever, whatever's getting us wins, um, that that's how it rolls. You know, I've said all week that I, I just want to win. I don't I don't care how it looks. I don't care if that's me rushing a lot, if that's Miles rushing a lot, if that whatever it looks like, whatever it takes, um, whatever it takes. Um, I, I just think it's something that you have to be able to do sometimes. Um, you know, we, it allows us to play fast um, and, re, and react to what the defense is giving us. You were on fire early in that game. You went a while without an incomplete pass. At what point did you kind of feel like you were in rhythm? Um, you know, I don't <laughs> – I guess when you watch the game, you kind of get a sense of how it's going, I guess, when you're in the midst of the game. I'm so locked in on just trying to do my job, um, execute my assignments, get the ball to where it's supposed to be, execute the the, the technique of the play. Um, and it was, it was very efficient tonight, night, you know, and I, you know, that's the type of football that we want to play. We want to play consistently. We want to, we want to be that way consistently. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm still t thinking about how we finished the game. Um, and how we finish the game is not a reflection of how we start the game. And that's something that we have to learn from and build off of and um, be better at moving forward. Did Camp, you, know, you spoke about maybe things slowing down a little bit for you the second year in the offense. Are you finding that in the games? Is that maybe one of the biggest improvements or things you're seeing here? Um, I, think, I think everything comes with time, you know, and I've, I mean, it's the same things that I've always said. It all comes with time. Um, and as time goes, you, 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 you find more comfort in what you're doing. You find more of a niche of what that looks like for you. Um, and I think as an offense, um, as a collective group, coach, Sirianni, Stike, um, Brian, myself, we put so much, so much work in um, to trying to make things efficient um, and trying to be efficient. Um, you know, I said it earlier, no man is an island. You must draw your strength from others. Um, I, I can't perform without the other 10 on the field. Um, and same on the other side, they need me to do my job for them to eat. So um, it's a collective group. Um, it was a big team win, a big time team win. Um, it's something that we'll definitely enjoy, but we have a short week and we're headed to DC. Um, so we'll enjoy it for a little bit and, and get ready for the next opponent. The crowd was rocking. You had Bryce Harper in the front row. You met with James Harden in the hallway here after the game. How much fun were you having tonight? Now that's nice, that's nice. That, that's that's Philly, you know what I mean? That's Philly. I know the support I have for the Sixers, um, talking to Bryce, um, meeting the, the process, you know what I'm saying, supporting them. Um, having that type of environment in the city, um, that's a winning culture, you know, and um, it's great to see those guys out there tonight. Um, that's, what, that's what Philly is. That's what Philly's all about. second year in offense. How much does it benefit you having him as your play caller now for, for the second straight season? Um, I, like I said, it's, it's, it's the first time it's ever been this way since I was in high school. Um, and in high school, I saw the benefits of it. Um, 
So I guess you, you can say you can see the benefits of it now, not just for me, but as a group. You know, everything in this game we do, if you want to have success, you have to, number one, be on the same page. That's the first step. That's the first thing you have to do. Um, and I think that's something that we've definitely done a better job of. And if we're not on the same page, we get there um, and we do it in a product, productive way. So um, it's, a, it's a collective team effort, um, coaches and players. It's a, it's a, it's a collective effort of, of us trying to find the best way to get wins for this football team. And um, we just want to take it day by day with it. Well, I think I think I think for us, um, for coach to have the trust in us, you know, you probably see some teams. Okay, we got a lead. Let's just bleed it out, you know. But coach had trust in us. Um, to go out there, execute, get the ball down the field, and ultimately have one of the best kickers in the game, Jake, go out there and do what he does best. And uh, that's great execution right there. Um, I want to point out how well the defense played. Um, they have a big-time receiver over there, a great quarterback, and um, they played well all night, played well all night. Um, so it was, it, was a great, it was a great team win. Um, we showed up. Jim, two more. Did two more what left you most pleased? I tell you what left me most unpleased was how we finished the game on offense. Jam. How we finished the game kind of, you know, how to keep our foot on the gas. When you when you start the way you game, you started personally, you know, two running touchdowns and a passing touchdown was a little boost in it. Injury, but it happened kind of early stretch you guys had. Um I, I I don't it, I don't think it matters how we score as long as we're putting points on the board and I think that word execution. Um are we executing? Execution fuels emotion, you know what I mean? When you do your job, when you're doing it at a, at a high level, everybody feeds off of that. Everybody turns up off of that. It, it fuels emotion. Um, and when we're able to go out there and um, play the type of ball we play early on, um, every, everybody, there's a different type of belief. Um, so it's, it's something to definitely build off of. I'm, I'm, I'm pointing out the good and the bad from this game. Um, but it's, it's definitely something to build off of, um, and like last week, I feel like um, I feel like from last week to this week, we took we took steps as a football team, um, a little more crisp, um, not as many dead plays, and we just played better as a group. Um, we played together in both weeks, I think. Um, but now we just have to take that next step, and um, that's the challenge going into this week.